you probably shouldn't watch this. So let me just get right to the point and tell you why, so that you know, if you don't wanna watch this video, you don't have to, just click away. But the reason you shouldn't watch this is because this is a straight up rant video and I'm not providing any solutions. So I'm going to present a rant and I have no solutions. This rant is basically because I got a comment on one of my videos and I see where it's coming from and I get it and I think it's important and it needs to be said. So if you are trying to learn computer programming, like the C programming language, Fortran, which yes, it's still useful, believe it or not. Python, very useful, everyone loves Python. And we're gonna talk a little bit about programming in this video. But if you wanna learn programming or if you wanna learn mathematics, you should do it because you want to learn and for no other reason. Unfortunately, that is not how the world works. For example, if I want pizza, I have to pay money for that pizza, right? And so you need to do something in life that is going to somehow make you money. But I think that sometimes when it comes to learning, it should just be for the sake of learning. And I picked programming for this video for two reasons. One, programming is something that I learned for the sake of learning. I, I learned how to code in C. I read this entire book almost and a couple other resources as well because uh, I was a beginner, right? Before going to college and I learned C. So if I can do it, anyone can do it. This is a beautiful book. It's written by Kernigan and Ritchie. But before we get into the books, let me, just, let me just go back to that comment because I will forget to mention it. So the comment was basically, I made a video where I talked about a book, a C++ book written by the creator of C++, uh, Bjarn Stralsup. I think I might've said it more correctly. Uh, if I'm saying it wrong, please correct me. It's uh, Bjarn Stralsup. That is the creator of C++. Anyways, some people were like, oh, you should learn Rust or learn this or C++ is dead. And I'm thinking, no, 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 no. See, no language is dead. All programming languages have their thing. I mean, there's, there's, I have a great book here and all the examples are in Lisp. That's right, in Lisp. And you might say, Lisp, why would you use Lisp? Well, because so you can read that book and read what a masterpiece it is. I, I don't have it here. It's the famous wizard book. I'll, if I remember, I'll leave a link in the description to the wizard book. Uh, I should make a video on that. But in any case, all languages have their merits. There's beauty in all of it, just like there's beauty in all of mathematics. It's just, you know, you can have a preference. It's okay. Um, some people like Java, some people like C. Um, you know, assembly is a language. I don't know if they still teach that. Python is very popular nowadays. Um, I'll leave links in the description to all of these books in case you want to check them out. So this one here, now that I've made my rant, let's just talk about these books. So this one here is a book written by the creators of C++. Uh, Brian Kernigan and Dennis Ritchie, Ritchie. And I believe this is the first edition. Let me just give it a whiff here because I made an effort to find this and yeah. Yeah, um, I, I've had other copies of this book. I feel like I have another copy of this book and I don't know where it is because I had this book and I lost it. And I had this book uh, in the early 2000s. I mean, that's, I mean, it's been a while, right? I, I learned C. Um, I think it's been two decades now. Yeah, wow, crazy, right? That's how long it's been since I learned the C programming language. And this book is good. The problem with this book as a beginner that I found was that when you are entering the code, just make sure you enter it correctly. Like you might need to put some other stuff depending on your compiler that, you know, whatever you're using to compile your code. So step one, is to get a compiler and compile your code. And after that, everything um, is relatively easy. And that statement, um, I'm not sure if that was from this book. I believe that's from this book. Let me see if I can find that. Uh, yeah, maybe it's not this book, but I remember a book saying that it might be this one. If you've read this book, <laughs> then you'd be like, yeah, that was this book. But really, yeah, it's true. I read that statement and it's a true statement. Once you compile your first program, you know, after that, it gets easier. So this is a pretty good book. Uh, I use this along with a website. It, it was a FAQ that was compiled from news groups. So that's really old school. That's before my time. Um, and it was an FAQ on an actual website. 
and by, this, by Steve Summit. I, I don't know if it still exists, but Steve Summit's FAQ in the C programming language. It just, he basically nitpicks the language, goes through it, talks about uh, you know the syntax and little things that you should watch out for. Really, really, you know, special cases and scenarios just to watch out for. So you know, you read all that and you become pretty good at the actual language, and you got to start creating programs. That, that's a whole other thing, right? So I made a video game in C, but yeah, it's uh, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Python is another language. This is object oriented. There's newer versions of this book. This is something that I've had for a while, so it's an older edition. Um, Python's a lot easier. Uh, it's it's more popular. A lot of jobs will ask if you know Python. So from a practical standpoint, you may say, well, it's better to learn Python than it is to learn C. I don't know, right? You can make your choices. I always say, learn what you want to learn. Remember, and, and it's always better to learn what you want to learn, right? I mean, if you know C, it could be beneficial. I bet there's a lot of people out there who know Python and don't know C. If you're one of those people, leave a comment. I'm curious, you know, what languages do you know and what languages do you prefer? Because it's certainly okay to have a preference, right? And here's Fortran, and I wanted to talk about Fortran because um, it's still used. You might say, how do I know that? Well, I actually uh, knew a guy who worked at a bank, and he said that uh, the software where he worked or he worked for banks or something, and he said the software was Fortran. And it was pretty pretty good software that worked really well, and there was no need to really update it, so they were still using it. You know, they would just train new employees on it, and it worked. So if it's not broken, don't fix it, right? And it always costs money to fix it, too. So, yeah, there's still programs out there written in Fortran that are being used in the world today that are making companies money, which is pretty amazing, right? So that means that those companies might hire people, perhaps, uh, but I haven't you know, seen any jobs that require Fortran. I just uh, know one person. Still, it does have a use. But yeah, here are some cool programming books. So yeah, I think the main takeaway from this video should be that you know there are multiple languages out there, and I think that people should learn for the sake of learning, whether it be math or, or programming. I feel like you learn better. When, when it's something that you're really passionate about, you learn better. Like when I learned C for the first time, I feel like I learned it really well. I felt like I was a master. I went to college and I was, I was correcting my teacher. It was, it was ridiculous. It was like, this, I had like this thing about it. Um, I became obsessed with the C programming language. I, I was really, I, was, I, was, I think it's a good word. I was obsessed. I was completely obsessed. Um, and this, this book was good. There was another book on C programming. Um, it's also for beginners. It's much thicker. And I read that entire book as well. So I didn't just use this book. Okay, so I'm not a super genius here. So I needed two books and also uh, Steve Summit's FAQ. I would also frequent uh, some programming forums on the internet, and that's how I heard about C, um, because I was on the internet and I learned C because of the forums and I was helping people with like their homework questions and stuff. It was pretty cool. So I'm like, these people are in college. I'm like, oh, so maybe I should go to college, and that's why I went to college, so yeah. I love this stuff. Anyways, I'll leave a link in the description to all these books. If you wanna learn math, by the way, I do have courses, check them out right there on my website, mathsorcerer.com. Um, I've got all kinds of math courses, and subscribe if you want to. Key takeaway is learn what you want to learn, okay? Just learn whatever you want to learn, and I think you will have a better life. Take care.